and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with my fourth attempt to try and broadcast this game. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast, up against Creep, the Blue Terran in the Southwest. And since it's TVT, it always turns out to be Delta Quadrant. I don't think I've faced any other uh, race on this map. As for my recording issues, uh, they seem to be pretty much solved. I was having uh, some problems since the new patch uh, with my graphics. Uh, all these little lights coming out of the back of the SUV, they were shooting all the way across the screen. It was very annoying. Uh, I ended up calling them strobe lights as I tried to broadcast it, but I decided against uh, uploading them, so I'm here trying to uh, rebroadcast them. After that supply depot goes down, there goes my SUV out to scout. As his SUV finally reaches, reaches my base, uh, not really paying attention, this was probably the one place that he didn't come from that SUV. As that SUV goes back to the Zelnaga Tower to keep an eye on everything, he is completing his block off here. Uh, two supply depots and a barracks. As my first barracks goes down, gas going up for me. Is gas going up for him? Yes, it is. And I go across the map. Still with full health, that SUV at the Zelnaga Tower almost got me, but I ran away just in time. Okay, he's not there. You can move on. Thank you. And second barracks going down for him, and Marines coming out. He won't be able to do an add-on here uh, because of that supply depot. A little bad placement there. Uh, Orbital Command going up for him as well from as mine is already finished. Uh, so somehow I have been able to take the lead in this game. Uh, an early lead, but a lead nonetheless. Um, with uh, more harvesters, and his Orbital Command is up. Mules already down for me. Bar third barracks going down for him as my third barracks is going down as well. Here is another supply depot. This is actually not a block off. See, look, if you can see, there's a little gap right there, and everybody will be able to go in through that. More Marines coming out. Tech Lab going on his... Uh, tech Lab going on second barracks with uh, Stimpak being researched. Uh, I am getting more Marines and more mar and Marauders. He is sticking with Marines with that Stimpak. Uh, factory going down for him, and looks like he is going to be sticking with one gas. Uh, I have moved on to two gas. Uh, this supply depot a little bit in the way. I should have lowered that. You can see there's a little bit of an arc there to the SUV movement. Uh, put a supply depot down just in case he went for uh, Reapers, but of course he is sticking with his Marines here. Already he's got eight of them. Mm. Oh, now he's got ten. I do have um, nine out, but I do have three Marauders. Uh, four Marauders. But those Marauders, I don't know if they would make that big of a difference because he does have the sight advantage here. Uh, that can't be overestimated here. You know, I don't think that four uh, Marauders are able to take out... Uh, this here, but I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me if you guys have video to show it. I would love to see it. Factory finally going down for me. Uh, combat shield being researched for both of us. Uh, mine will finish first. Uh, concussive shells going down as well, so he can't, won't be able to run away. Combat shield uh, about halfway done for him. And there goes my army. Uh, gonna spot this SCV that's just hanging out at the watchtower. One Marine going out to finish it. Random screen there. And no, he won't be able to go in. And there go the Marines. He, I, I don't know if he forgot he was blocked off or what, but they can't go anywhere. So in comes the army. What is it going to be uh, against 20 uh, Marines now and a medevac? That medevac definitely will skew things in his direction. So. Uh, uh, I don't see it, but I am willing to settle here because he did see how much I had. Uh, meanwhile, I am going to go for the expansion on the Destructible Debris. I know some people think that this is the unsafe expansion uh, due to this uh, big terrace right here, but I'll be honest, I have not seen anybody utilize that yet, and uh, I've played quite a few uh, matches with that type of, uh, I don't know what you call it, um, 
I almost wanted to call it a balcony, uh, but this uh, little, you know, cliff here, uh, put siege tanks there, of course it would do great damage to anything here, but I've never seen anybody do it, uh, so uh, I still consider that the first expansion. Medevac drop going to go down for creep. Sorry, I forgot his name for a second there. Uh, but he's going around uh, basically the wrong side, and there I should have seen him, but I'm not paying close enough attention on my minimap. Uh, but there, no, I maybe I did see him. But down go the Marines right into the mineral line, and they should take out how many Marines? How many? Three? Looks like he got three SCVs there. Uh, but is it enough? No, I still have quite a substantial lead in the Harvester count. As my expansion is now going down, he does see that, and he stops. No, he looks like he's going all the way back to the base because I did finally move in. But like I said, that medevac really making a big uh, room for itself here. Um, and he will be able to take out even those Marauders because of the stim pack upgrade and uh, the medevac, he drops, he, he actually does a great job here, he drops uh, the marines, heals them up, and then loads them back into the medevac. That's a great little micro there, a good tip for everybody uh, that does the, the, the medevac drop and medevac evac. I uh, have not, that, I don't do it very often, uh, but that is something I will keep in mind next time I do do it. In comes the army. Are they going to be able to take out this command center? They're trying to focus down with the stim packs. No. And down goes everything. Down goes Frasia. And then he scans. To say, yeah, do you see the size of that army? Oh, but he does notice that I will be keeping that command center. It doesn't go down. Uh, the orbital command is being morphed in as uh, the rest of my army goes back out to cover the main and this is really a bad spot for the army don't keep them in your base keep them outside your base keeping pressure on your opponent he's doing a much better job keeping pressure on me than i am on him now there goes the scv transfer uh quite a big transfer here because i am so low on minerals here uh if you wanted to drop there that'd be fine um but am I going to be making... Yes, I'm still going to be making SCVs here. So, um, I, you know, still a couple, you know, about 1,500, I would say. Uh, maybe a little more than that in minerals there, as opposed to, you know, 1,500 almost per patch on here. Here goes another battle, and it looks like he's going to be winning this as well. Uh, he's got so many medevacs here. Uh, they're doing such a great job healing up, and that there goes the entire army. Medivac's going back to the base for me. I do have a siege tank, so that if he did try to push into my base, I would, uh, at least a conventional push, he's been doing these medivac drops this entire time. If he did a conventional push, that um, siege tank would do a lot of damage, you know, 35 damage against those marines. Of course, they are not armored. Uh, the medivacs are, but the... Siege chain can't target those. Missile turrets going up at my expansion to prevent any sort of drop, or at least give me advanced warning of them. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be going around to the main. I'm not too concerned about my main. I don't put missile turrets up there uh, simply because there's not that many minerals left. I mean, my expansion is really my main mining base right now, so I'm trying to protect that. I'm not too concerned about um, the main base. He actually doesn't have an expansion yet. Uh, there goes the drop. In comes the army. He's not going to be evacuating this time. This is really an all-in push for him. Uh, siege tanks getting some action. Um, possibly not an all-in push, never mind. He still has quite a few marines down at his base, uh, 26 of them. Uh, so he did just uh, load up what he had at a time, and he's really uh, pushing the marines. No marauders yet for him, not even a siege tank. He does have uh, the factory, of course, uh, in order to get the starport, but no siege tanks coming out. 
Oh, there we go. Getting siege tech. Siege tanks finally coming out. He did see my siege tanks. I think that's what uh, gave him the hint. Hey, you know what? Maybe I should get some tanks of my own. And of course, I <laughs> only lower one supply depot, so they still have to come out single file because that is only enough room for single file right there. Uh, siege tank staying behind. I guess for defense. I don't think I meant to do that. He is finally thinking about his expansion at the 20 minute mark. He will be, <laughs> looks like, going for his first expansion. He's almost completely mined out of his main. Uh, he's been using the the energy on his overall command for supply. I've never been a fan of that, using it for supply. Um, I always go for mules, or save it for scans if I assume that he's going to be getting banshees. In comes the army. Two tanks in the back. They're going to be sieging up. They're going to get, you know, that first line there. That's great positioning. Um, you know, you only need to get the first line. The splash damage will take care of the rest. Uh, and they're, you know, bad placement for me because I don't see those siege tanks in. Honestly, I was very distracted when I played this game because of uh, those lights coming out of everything. See that little flame coming out of uh, the Vikings? They would have stretched literally across my screen. Um, and a as they moved, the whole line moved with them, so it got very distracting. And uh, it got to the point where I couldn't play. It took me about four hours to fix that. And there go both of my upgrades. Uh, so they are now 1-1 one, one, uh, Marauders. So a little early on the push there if I wanted to wait for the 1-1, one, one, but I assumed I had it in the bag, and I do. He's actually lifting off his uh, expansion and moving it away, uh, but it is far too late. You know, he knows that I have the expansion there. I've had it for some time. Um, not sure why he doesn't just GG here. Come on, man. Don't make me chase you. Yes, it's GG. So I GG back. Uh, he gives me a big smiley face. I've, uh, I don't smile when I lose. Maybe he uh, smiles uh, because it's over. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. So I assume at this point that he just doesn't know how to surrender uh, since those SUVs are just moving now. Um, I figure, oh, he doesn't have an expansion, but that uh, the reason that they moved is because the, the command center did land, uh, so he does have an expansion. I do assume that now because he's not being revealed, so uh, I don't know where it is. I assume, hey, maybe it's down here. And when my Vikings get there and I realize it's not there, I don't know where it is. And there he finally leaves the game. I guess he thought that he would be able to come back for a while, but when he saw, wow, that's a lot of medevacs, uh, when he saw uh, everything getting decimated and he was down to just uh, three SUVs by the time I took everything else out, uh, he had to GG. So there you go. There's the game. Um, he stuck with Marines. I, I think that was his downfall, you know, the Marines the entire time. If he had gotten uh, Marauders, it would have been a completely different game. Um, we both did not do that great of a job uh, with our minerals or our gas. He's actually got almost 1,900 gas. Wow. Um, I, on the other hand, have about 2,000, 1,000. Of course, that most of that was spent after uh, the game or gained after the game had already been won. So I hope you guys enjoyed something. Remember to tech up. Don't stick with Marines. Uh, just like I would say, don't stick with Zerglings or don't stick with Zealots. Always upgrade at least to, to Stalkers or... Um, Roaches, in my case, is Marauders. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed at least a little bit. Hope to see you next time. Bye.